Now, now it's clearly not only our personal space that's in danger, but our personal security. <laughs> One of the nation's communications provider has reopened concerns about the safety of placing sensitive information online. Exactly how safe are our personal details? Already facing a potential class action over poor customer service, Vodafone now faces up to 4 million separate compensation payouts after the personal info of its customers was made readily available on the internet over the weekend. Vodafone believes it was one of their own that breached security. What happened in this alleged breach is that somebody has given somebody their password. This security lapse potentially left one-fifth of the population's credit card details, home addresses and recent call logs available for anyone to look up. Not good for those of us who enjoy a late-night phone call to 1-800-SEXY-T. <laughs> Having your records swirling around the internet ether does have a very serious side. Anybody on the internet anywhere in the world who got access to this login and PIN could access all my personal information. Old mine for cyber criminals. These days, we hand over our most precious and sensitive to all sorts of companies online. But with cyber technology advancing at such dizzying pace, can we trust they will keep our private lives safe and sound? To answer that, we're joined by the chair of the Electronic Frontiers Australia, Colin Jacobs. Now, Colin, let's get real. This isn't the first time we've heard about a privacy leak like this. Are some of these corporations just not taking our personal information security seriously? Unfortunately, there's a lot of evidence that no, they aren't taking it seriously enough. Um, these companies have a legal obligation uh, to protect our data, but doing it properly, that requires time, it requires money, and it requires expertise. And often they don't quite get around to doing it until something like this happens, it all blows up, and they have a horde of angry customers banging on the door demanding to know what's happened to their data. Now, mate, there is reports that uh, companies like Telstra use the same system as Vodafone. The, the system's just, they're just not good enough? Well, this one certainly isn't, if we can believe what we read in the media. Um, it is possible to design a system that is adequate. It would restrict people to only seeing data they need to see to do their actual job, and it would keep track of who's actually accessing what and, and when. But a system that lets thousands of people all over the country access all of your information from your phone records to your driver's licence, that's obviously not good enough. I am with Vodafone and I have absolutely no idea if I'm one of these people. I mean, how would I know? And and I guess what are the consequences? What could actually happen with my personal information? Well, that's just the thing. You might not know until you find you're a victim of some sort of a, of a crime. Uh, if credit card information leaks, that has a cash value to fraudsters. Just your name, address um, and driver's licence number, that's enough for uh, people to steal your identity and use that in fraud. And, uh, you know, people have even been accessing this data just to check up on their spouses or their partners and see if they've been texting. So all of those scenarios are pretty bad. Colin Jacobs, thanks for chatting to us tonight. You're welcome. Mate. I, I, um, I'm so long in the tooth I can remember the pre-IT, pre-internet period. And, <laughs> and this whole privacy protection thing is, is a paper tiger. It's always been around. People have been very worried about their, protecting their privacy for ages. The difference now, I think, is that this, this is going to be a wild ride. Unless we de-invent the... I think this is going to get worse. That's I, I think hold, hold on to your privacy, folks, because yeah. I don't think it's ever, ever going well, to be the, the, the same again. It's like WikiLeaks on a personal level, isn't it, really? It's <laughs> possibly, I'm not sure, but... <laughs> it's really nice. That's very good, mate. <laughs> it is a case of the technology is moving so fast, we just can't keep up with, I guess, balances and, and controlling it But all. Vodafone are taking this very seriously. And you know when someone's taking something seriously, yep. they raise their eyebrows. Let's have a look at uh, Vodafone's spokesman today and check out his eyebrows. We take breaches of security... <laughs> uh, Data security very seriously, and we immediately, as soon as we've Look, have a look, those eyebrows are still, they're they're still up. They're still up, they're still up, they're still up. They come down a little bit, and then they go back up. <laughs> All right? And they're still up as we speak. Swallowed very <laughs> you swallowed very deeply, I wonder why. <laughs> and now there's some news about some technology.